Know how to identify common insect bites and stings. While most bites and stings from insects are harmless and heal quickly, it still causes intense pain or even an allergic reaction. Some may even require medical help because of severity or illness it may bring. In order to identify how to deal with it, knowledge on which insect bites is a significant factor. Here are some pointers to differentiate what kind of insect bites bitten you. Flea bites. Symptoms of flea bites may begin within hours after you're bitten, and the bites tend to appear in groups or three or four. You may notice itching, hives and swelling around the injury or sore, or a small rash of small red bumps that may not be lead. Flea bites are more common on your ankles, in your armpits, around your waist, and the pants of your knees and elbows. A flea bite rash turns white when you press on it and tends to get larger or spread over time. Scratching the rash can lead to a skin infection according to the National Library of Medicine and may need medical attention. In extremely rare cases, the bites of fleas infect with a bacteria that causes plague can spread the disease from wild rodents to pets and to people. Over the past 10 years, as few as one and as many as 17 cases of plague were reported in the United States according to the CDC, most in the rural west. Symptoms of plague include swollen lymph nodes, headache, fever, and chills that appear from one to six days after the bite. Mosquito bites. A mosquito bite appears as an itchy round red or pink skin bump. It's usually harmless, but can sometimes cause a serious illness such as Zika virus, particularly harmful in pregnant women, the West Nile virus or malaria. For most people, Zika causes a brief flu-like illness, but pregnant women with Zika infections have had an alarming increase in microcephaly birth defects in their newborns. The Center of Disease Control and Prevention posted a 2016 travel alert advising pregnant women to delay travel to 50 areas where Zika is active, including Latin America and the Caribbean. About 2,000 U.S. cases of the West Nile virus were reported to the CDC in 2014. Symptoms appear 2 to 14 days after the bite and can include headaches, body aches, fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and skin rash. The people with more severe West Nile infection may develop meningitis or encephalitis and have symptoms including neck stiffness, severe headache, disorientation, high fever, and convulsions. The bite of a parasite-infected mosquito can cause malaria, a rare occurrence in the United States with only about 1,500 cases reported by the CDC each year. Symptoms are similar to the flu and can include fever, headache, muscle aches, nausea and vomiting from 10 days to 4 weeks after the bite. Malaria is serious, but it is good to know it is preventable and treatable, according to the CDC. Bee stings Bee stings cause a sharp pain that may continue for a few minutes, then fade to a dull, aching feeling. The area may still feel sore to the touch for the few days later. A red skin bump with white around it may appear around the side of the sting and the area may itch and feel hot to the touch. If you've been stung by a bee before, your body may also have an immune response to the venom in the sting, resulting in swelling where the sting occurred or an entire area of your body. If you have this type of allergic response called anaphylaxis, it is a medical emergency that needs treatment immediately. Symptoms of severe allergy to bee sting includes hives, swelling, trouble breathing, dizziness, cramps, nausea, diarrhea, and even cardiac arrest. Kissing bug bites. Kissing bug bites hide in the daytime but emerge at night, often leaving bites on the face and causing a swollen eyelid. In the first weeks after infection, symptoms of Chagas disease can include fever, fatigue, body aches, headache, rash, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and vomiting. But in the long term and even decades later, the CDC knows that about 30% of people infected by kissing bugs 
could develop serious complications of Chagas disease, an enlarged heart, heart failure, abnormal heart rhythm, cardiac arrest, or an enlarged cologne, also known as megacologne. Bed bug bites. Bed bug bites can occur anywhere on your body but typically show up on your uncovered areas, such as your neck, face, arms, and hands. It is good to know that although they are common, bed bugs do not carry disease, according to the CDC. Ant bites and stings. Ants bites and stings are typically painful and cause red skin bumps. Some types of ants, like fire ants, are venomous and can cause a severe allergy. Fire ants bite first to hold on and then sting, giving a sharp pain and burning sensation. If you're bitten by fire ant, you may see white, fluid-filled pustules or blisters a day or two after the sting that lasts three to eight days and may cause scars. The bumps may also be itchy and red and you may have swelling around the site. It is important not to scratch or break the blisters open because they can become infected. Knows the American College of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology. Carpenter ants bites are also painful because they spray formic acid into the bite, which causes a burning feeling. Spider bites. Most spider bites are not poisonous and cause only minor symptoms like red skin, swelling and pain at the site. Other spider bites are real emergency. If you develop an allergic reaction to a spider bite with symptoms as tightness in the chest, breathing problems, swallowing difficulties or swelling of the face, you need medical care at once. Because spider bites can get infected and tetanus. The CDC also recommends staying on top of your tetanus booster shots and getting one every 10 years. A bite from a poisonous spider like the black widow or brown reckless is extremely dangerous and can cause a severe reaction. The black widow's bite, which shows up as two puncture marks, may or may not be painful at first, but 30 to 40 minutes later you may have pain and swelling in the area. Within 8 hours you may experience muscle pain and rigidity, stomach and back pain, nausea and vomiting and breathing difficulties. You might not have seen the spider that bit you, but always seek medical attention immediately if there is a possibility you could have been bitten by a poisonous spider. Brown Rickless Spider Bites The brown rickless spider is poisonous and usually leaves in dark and unused spaces. Some people feel a small sting followed immediately by a sharp pain, while others don't realize they've, been, they've gotten a brown rickless bite until hours later. Four to eight hours afterwards, the bite may become more painful and look like a bruise or blister with a blue-purple area around it. Later, the bite becomes crusty and turns dark. Symptoms of a brown reckless spider bite occur within a few hours and include fever, chills, itching, nausea and sweating. Because some people will have a serious reaction that can lead to kidney failure, seizure and coma, it is important to get a medical care at once, according to Net. National Library. Tick bites. Some tick bites can be dangerous because they may carry disease. Black legged ticks, formerly known as deer ticks, may carry Lyme disease. A dog ticks can spread Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Up to 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported each year in the United States. Symptoms of Lyme disease include a skin rash in the pattern of rings, much like a bullseye on a target that appears to mouth after a tick bite. You may also need have fever, fatigue, headaches, muscle and joint aches, as well as irregular heart rhythm. Symptoms such as swollen or painful joints, memory loss or other responses that mimic those of other diseases may represent later when Lyme disease is in advanced stages. A diagnosis may remain exclusive because many doctors will not equate these symptoms with Lyme disease. Rocky Mountain spotted fever from a tick bite is rare, with about 2,000 US cases per year. It causes a fever, headache, muscle ache and skin rash. Although this infection can be severe and even fatal, it is preventable and can be successfully treated with prompt medical care, according to CDC. Mite and Chigger Bites 
Mite bites do not usually spread disease, but they can irritate the skin and cause intense itching. Itch mites usually feed on insects, but will bite other animals, including people. The bites usually go unnoticed until itchy red marks developed that may look like a skin rash. Chickers are a form of a mite that inject their saliva so that they can liquefy and eat skin. In response to the chigger bite, the skin around the bite hardens. As the picture above illustrates, the surrounding skin becomes irritated and inflamed, and an itchy red well develops. Lice bites. Lice bites are red tiny spots on the shoulders, neck, the scalp and small parasitic insects that can live in your clothes or your bedding. Because lice bites are so small, they usually don't hurt, but they do itch. Some people may develop a larger, uncomfortable skin rash from lice bites. Continual scratching of the itchy spots could lead to an infection marked by symptoms including swollen lymph nodes and tender red skin. An infection lice bite may also ooze and crust over and will need to be treated by a doctor, but lice are known not to carry other diseases.